Who doesn't like ravioli? I don't think you can find anyone that don't like ravioli. <laughs> if anyone doesn't like ravioli, this is not your show. If you do, come back. We're going to show you ravioli made easy. And we are back. Hi, everybody. I'm Anthony. And I'm Anna. And together, we're Italian cooking. Unscripted. That's right, unscripted. In today's show, we talked about ravioli. Yes, ravioli is what we're doing. We're doing a simple recipe on ravioli. It took me a little bit of time to get this perfected, and now I want to share this with you. And Good ravioli. Fantastic ravioli. Thank you. Love. Everything made from scratch by my man. From scratch. Amazing. <laughs> from scratch. <laughs> from scratch. From from her man. So. Let's get started and we're going to do up some real nice ravioli, very simple sauce because the star is... What is the star? Ravioli is <laughs> the star. It's like a Rowan Martin laughing. <laughs> All right, let's get started. <laughs> so, let's get started on making some dough. At the end of the day, we're making ravioli. It's pasta dough. Now, there's different types of dough. You have dough that's made with eggs and dough that's just made with durum semolina and water. They're different. You can't make ravioli with just a durum semolina and water. You need eggs because you need some binder because you got to get these things coming together. So you need to have an egg pasta. What I like to do is I like to have 50-50. 50% or half in white flour and the other half with germ semolina because it gives it, I find, more sustenance. So, how much do you need to do? So, say we were making for four people. I would say for four people, four hungry people. Mm -hmm. It's really a handful. If I do this, and I gotta just be careful because I tend to spill with this uh, container. Yeah, it's not so. It's not made for that, but. Two, two, two white. Yeah, mm -hmm. we did two white here. And now we're going to take Durham Semolina and go one and two. Can so now we have the Semolina. Here. There it is. Durham Semolina. You'll find that at most Italian specialty stores. And it's rimacinata. It means... It's rimacinata. means that it's been more finely grinded. Grinded. Milled, grinded two times. Milled in order to do that. Now, I look at this and then I look... It's one egg per 100 grams, that's 100 grams. Mm -hmm. 100 grams is a handful, one egg. But when you get a ginormous egg like this, uh, that's one and a half eggs starting. So I'm going to try, I'll tell you quite frankly, I'm going to go with one. And usually I judge it by the volcano. This volcano is maybe just a little, I made the volcano just a little small. I'm going to make that volcano a little bit wider. Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll go one. defective egg. <laughs> Two. And I'm looking at the liquid and I'm saying, is that a lot of liquid with it? I'm saying, eh, there's quite a bit of liquid here. Mm -hmm. So let's start, let's, let's see, maybe it, I, I think I can get away with two and some white wine. I think I'll be able to do it. These are pretty big eggs. Should be ready, baby. Mm -hmm. And this is a way It'll allow me to cheat too and see if I need more. More eggs yeah, or more exactly, farina. Exactly. I mean, uh, you know, you can almost see it by eye, right? You see, oh, I think it might be dry a little bit. Yeah, I think I'll be dry a little bit. So, let's go a third egg. You know why? I can add more flour. Once it starts to get kind of like you could control it, then you go in with the special tool and you start to mix it all. Like this. And you start coming in. There, look at this. You could start seeing that it's pretty good right away you see mm. 
you already start having the semblance of a dough. If I find it a little dry, sometimes I cheat with a little bit of white wine if it, if it gets a little dry. But I see this consistency is going to be good. So knead. Now it's time to knead. Grab anything that comes around. You grab. You knead it. You get it. You start getting it into that consistency. When you see it's a little too wet, say let me pick up all the flour that's around here, so I can make sure it has all the flour that it needs in order to come together. If you see that it's still sticky, get a little bit of flour, put it down, and start to knead again. Look, already you could start seeing it's coming together. So you could use a machine. I, I've seen a lot, even great chefs actually will use the machine. When you're talking about a restaurant, a lot of that is production work. We're not doing production work here. So knead, 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 clean my hands, take a little bit of flour to clean my hands like this. That's an efficient way of cleaning your hands. Then we wrap it up in a bit of plastic because it has to rest for a little bit, let the glutens take action and it'll be lovely. You'll see. I still feel the stickiness. See that stickiness over here? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's telling me not ready yet, needs a little bit more flour. And when the stickiness starts to go away, you know you're there. And this is the therapy of it. This is what I love to do because there's a therapy in doing this <laughs> and watching this dough come to life and watching ravioli be made before your eyes and it's I am utterly lucky unbelievable. Woman. My love, you make such beautiful dishes for me too from uh, your native Albania, which are excellence. I love that burek that you make. Am I saying it right, the burek? Yes, burek. <laughs> but back to ravioli. Let me see Look, how it's see? there. See? So no stickiness. It's drier. Mm -hmm. it's drier. It's getting there. Personally, in ravioli, just a little firmer. You can get away. If you're making pasta, you can do what you want. If you're going to make these into tagliatelle or something, it's not as critical. But in ravioli, you want to get a, a good structure there because remember that you're going to have to flip it over. So I'm going to wrap this up, set it aside. Meanwhile, we are ready to make the filling. What do we do in the filling? Well, you could do whatever you want in the filling. Meat, spinach, ricotta, cheese is usually what my mother used to do because we liked our meat in it. But Anna and I, we say, why put the meat when you don't need the meat? So sometimes you could substitute the meat with mushroom or you could go really easy with just some ricotta. I've got some fresh, beautiful ricotta here. Beautiful, fresh ricotta and cheese and spinach. That's it, and an egg. And put it all together and bind it. What do we do? We take, we take the spinach, chop it up, chop it up. It's a steamed spinach, it's Just right? steamed, exactly. Thank you, love. It is steamed. It's just chop, chop, chop. So we have all of these together, right inside the bowl, over here. Spinach, spinach all chopped, ricotta, no need to measure. So we got the ricotta in there, and now we got to add some cheese. How much cheese? How cheesy do you want it? This is Romano, so I'd say a good handful, a good handful in there. Get that mixed up a little bit. I'm just looking for a little bit of the consistency. It looks good. It's going to be pretty um, egg is binder needs egg binder has to be there and now I just mix this I'm gonna need the salt pepper look you can already see joy in a plate a beautiful filling I'm gonna put some salt pepper on there the pinches should we say pepper no not today <laughs> get some pepper in there and of course, I love parsley. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be generous with the parsley here. So a handful, right? Little handful. Yeah, a little handful. I just, I just love parsley. Hmm. Chop it finely and throw it in the I would, I would say just 
just chop it. It's 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 gonna be it's gonna be nice. Uh, no rules on that chopping. Get it all in there. It's all in there. We got cheese. We got egg. We got the ricotta in there. There's really nothing. The only thing that we could add is if it's not cheesy enough, let's make it a little cheesier. That's about it. I have a question for you. Please ask, my love. <laughs> Would you like to add uh, nutmeg? I, I, I won't. I like nutmeg more when there's meat around, uh -huh. but it's to taste. It's how people like it. So I have no problem. So I know the egg really is raw. you can really customize it, right? Mm -hmm. As per your life. I know the egg is raw. I don't have a problem with it. I, I, I really don't. It's cheesy. It's spinachy. And it's ricotta. <laughs> There's really nothing more that you need in this. It's mixed. We're ready to go fill the ravioli. That simple. Really. Okay, so we've got filling made. It took us nothing. It was ricotta, spinach, cheese, a little bit of parsley, one egg for a binder, done on the side. What have I got? In the fridge, boom. It's really not cool. It just takes a little bit of, I don't know, I put it in the fridge. Somebody taught me to do it. So I think it does get a little bit harder. And you, work, you can work it easier. I think, yeah, a little bit. When it's cooler, it works a little bit easier. So what do I do? I like to flatten it out. And then I cut it out into what I think is going to end up making uh, the dough sheets. That's what they are. They're dough sheets is what they are. That plastic, I'll take it and I'll use it just to cover it up so it doesn't get too much air. Now, <laughs> to make the dough, to make the sheets, I've learned that if you start crooked, then you end up working crooked. And working crooked is not fun because you end up with a sheet that's not so even. So you try to make like a patty, I'm going to call it a patty for lack of a better word, that's kind of like squarish and ready for the machine. Bring that to the biggest opening, take it, put it, first shot, come over, you take a look at it, say, well, it's okay. Kind of flatten it out, put it back try, in. Try to make rectangular. Try to make it rectangular as much as you can, as much as you can. You see, kind of out of whack a bit. So I try this, a bit more flour. There's a little bit of art, a little bit of science. I don't do this every day like in a restaurant. If I did, I probably would have some infallible system. I don't. Okay, so I'm gonna hit that one more time in here. I'm working a little bit backward, but it'll be work. It'll be. This okay. is the first, first thickness. Pass. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. This is thick. Now it's yeah. the second. The one. goal is to get this nice and wide. Not, I mean, I I don't make it as wide as the machine. It's a lot to get it to as wide as the machine. But I try to. You see how I play the game? Haha. -ha. <laughs> you got it. I got it. You see. <laughs> There it is. So now I know I could play with this. I'll cut that end off. We could do pappardella with leftover dough. We can do whatever we want with it. So I, I, this machine works on this side. This house is done on that side. So I got to work with the system. I have no choice. You're going to have to work with your system too to get it as comfortable as you can. A little bit of flour goes on the floor. I know that, you know, who cares? There's the cooking. Exactly. If you're going to be cooking, so you went to another thickness. It's now. Yeah, it, it's I, I dropped the, thick, the thicknesses. That's okay. right. Another one. Yeah, exactly. So now I look at it. Okay, it's not quite. It, it's too thick, too thick, for a ravioli. Mm -hmm. So I'll go one more shot. That's number two, is where I go. Again, sometimes I've had to do it at three because the dough was too soft. This is good dough, not soft at all. No problem at all. Woo, look at that. That's good. We're there. That's so a nice you sheet. Went, you went from the widest one, yeah, from to, the to, thickest to one, number two. to number two. Yeah. Okay. Look at this. I'm going gonna, gonna to pass it a second time because I'm a show off. Wow, that's... I may be able to get a little bit thinner because it's a nice, yeah, it's a tough, it's a tough dough, you see? It wow. doesn't come apart on me. So I know it could take it. It'll make a nice ravioli. Uh, look at these weird ends. 
I like to cut them. I can actually, I'll tell you quite frankly, I can also put, pass this back through the machine and I'll make another, an, another set of ravioli with this. So, wow. Ooh. I'm not afraid of this. This is not waste. That's not waste at all. But I got a nice, beautiful piece. Look how beautiful. And evenly, evenly cut. So when I end up using it and I fold it over, it's going to be nice and even. Mm -hmm. So that we're going to take it, put a little flour, honey, we're going to put a little bit of, uh, we're going to put our, uh, well, you know what, it, I'm making so little, I'm just going to put it right on the marble. We cleaned this marble just before, so. Again. You put some flour in the marble. Yeah, and then exactly. The, okay. Again, so back to, back to square one. Are different machines different or all, you know, they're I, all the same? My love, I, I've, I've never tried different machines. I think I've seen electric ones, but I don't know if, you know, if it makes it. I, like I said, everything becomes more and more heavy duty. I'm not in heavy duty cooking. I'm not in a restaurant. So not an issue. So I look at it, I say, oh, what am I going to do with this? Kind of match it. Fold it's like, it. It's like crafts in school, <laughs> like crafts. Same thing. You kind of fold it, you say, hmm, my granddaughter, Ellie, would love this. Well, she's done pasta with me she in the past. This, yeah. yeah. She likes to make pasta with you. So we're here, we say, oh, I think I could work with that. I see a little spot, speckle of something. Get your speckles out. Look for speckles and take them out. Okay. Got some flour. We're going to be able to work with this. We're going to be able to get this down. So down a notch, put it back through. I hate working with my left hand. You see, I turn in with my left hand and I switch to right when I can, but it make it work. And flour, I'm going to go twice. In the same thing. Same one. Yeah, because I say, oh, I think I could get a little more out of this one. And we're ready to keep going. And now it's going to be fast. Look. You see how we're getting the expansion the way we want? I'm going to go. Got two more, two more shots to go. Looking good. Too thick right now. A little bit of flour. This way. That way. And... I'm going down a notch. The last one? That's it. The last one, which I'm going to pass twice. Now, here's the other thing. When you're doing this, be confident. And here's what I mean by be confident. None of this is precise. None of this. Is. I, look, I, I, there are chefs that are precise. They do everything precise. I love them. I've watched masters on television. I love them. That's not our cooking. This is my mom's and my grandmother's cooking. They couldn't be precise. They didn't have time to be precise. I'm passing it twice. Look, this beautiful sheet. You know, can something happen? Nothing's going to happen. Oh, it's touching the edge a bit. Don't worry about it. Nothing's going to happen. Who cares? Nothing's going to happen. Oh, I got a fine wow. piece coming out of here. <laughs> Even better than the last one. There we go. So, flatten her out. Take a look. Wow. Any damage? Everything looks good. Looks good. I like those. I like to work not big because it, then it, I get confused when, I, when it's too big. One and two. And I can work with that. A bit of flour. This side, a bit of flour that side, turn, this side, this side, flour side, let's go and <laughs> look how easy it is. Look how beautiful. These will not stick. There's flour. You don't have to worry about it. They're all happy. The color so, is almost like the countertop color. You yeah, that's see true. That. <laughs> Give us a few more minutes. We're going to finish this up and we'll start filling the ravioli. Ta-da! All done. Look at them. <laughs> See this one? Why is it weird over here? Because uh -huh. guess which one? This one. It was all the remnants. So I managed to flatten it out. Oh. No problem. Take out some of the flour. We'll start with this one. The little orphan. 
very important in making raviolis this little tool. This little tool is important because not only does it cut, but it also binds it. So you don't have to go with a fork over, but sometimes if it doesn't catch, you need to go over with a fork. What I use to make, help bind is water. Now, some people do an egg wash. The reason I don't do an egg wash is because egg wash tends to harden whatever it touches because it, it's, it's, a, it's a protein that will start to make a binding and get hard. So I don't want that. I just want a little bit of water to do it. How do we go about making ravioli? This, you gotta go by, you gotta go by eye, right? You gotta say, okay, look at the size. You put them about here, just a little bit around the middle. And all this spacing, uh, I wish I could, I wish I could, I wish I can give you a magic trick on the spacing part. I can't because it's, it's kind of like you have to decide on your own based on what you see, how thick your dough is. Not all the dough pieces are, are the same width, so I have to work with what I got. This one here, now flip, over, air out. Kind of do these karate chops off the side. Karate chop, karate chop, karate chop. And don't stop until you're kind of satisfied where that's going. That leaves the front end opened so that you can get the air out. And then here's where the beauty comes in. Depends, do you want a lot of dough around it? My mom, she'd go real big on the dough. Why? Because <laughs> she had to feed the hungry kids. Me, I kind of like it sort of medium-ish, if I could say. And then... And you can go any I shape, love, right? Yeah, any shape. I love the half moons. I know there's, there's all kinds of shapes in Italy. They all argue about it. I like the crescent, the half moon. That's what it is. I find it's easier to manipulate. And look, it's sealed. You see that? Yeah. It's all sealed. So you put water. Yeah. Yeah. With the and water. The tool. It yeah. Helps. Yeah. And the tool. So why fret? Align. 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 I love aligning them because I'm a bit of a nerd. So in the end, I love aligning them. Next up for bids, this one. I love doing this part. I, I, I could do this all night if I had to. So get it all straight, little piece of spinach there. Okay, watch me again. I pick, I say, you know, this is a fat one, so I could put a little bit more filling. I like the variety. <laughs> I like the variety when it comes to making ravioli. You know, you could do it in that shape, in that form, and it makes them all nice and square. I'm not into that. I like variety. There we go. I even stuck an extra one over here. So, watch me again. Get anything out that's not supposed to be there. Not too much water. Don't get too crazy with the water. What, the four sides? Uh, yeah, yeah, but you know, always be careful. Too much water, you're gonna deal with other issues after. You don't wanna do that. You wanna make it easy. So, see, got a little stuck. And over, and over. It gets soft when you put the, 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 water. the water, so you have to be careful. Karate chops, karate chops. Look at this, see? How easy. See a little bit of water went there, so I gotta I gotta I gotta deal with it right now. Put a little bit of flour to pick it up a bit. Because I don't wanna water is it, it's powerful here. Karate chop, karate chop, karate chop. You don't want a lot of air in it. If you have air in it, it will it will it will it could burst when you're cooking it. So more dough, mom style. Eat the dough. Eat the dough, my mom. She knew we used to go. My mom knew that we would go for the bigger ones, so she just put more dough. <laughs> <laughs> we knew, but we loved the way she made them. We would have competitions. My cousin, my cousins, and I would have competitions on how many we could eat. 
you know, and we were we were at that time when we became teenagers, we we're eating like 12, 13 of these. These grow in the, uh, you'll see when we, when we cook them, they'll grow. And take a look. And I check them. I check to see sometimes if there's any ones with holes. Like this one here. No, no. Yeah, this one here. Is, oh, see, there it is. You see that? So, and why did that happen? A little bit too much, I think got too much water on the top. So and just to, to be packing. sure, just to be sure you kind of come over and then you take a look. But I'm glad it happened so we could see. Nice and delicate. Very nice. Very, very nice. Okay. I'm going to continue doing these. I don't know if you guys want to see another one. I can do another one. You know what? I'll keep it and I'll use it as B-roll. This is a little one. Again, this one I'm going to go a little smaller, right? Because it's not as wide. So if I go too wide, now I'm going to have trouble. It's not going to cover. No, it's not going to cover. I, I've already been there when you're fighting with the ravioli. After you've closed it, after you've closed it, you're fighting with the ravioli. Not fun. Oh, I'm being risky. I'm being risky here. I put a lot of filling in this. Come, oh, I almost forgot my water, but a little bit of water. Just a little. Just touch it a little bit. Not too much. We're ready to come over. See, this one's tight, but karate chop, karate chop, karate chop. A nice little karate chop over here. Small but effective. See that? What I'm talking about? So now, and the, oh, let me tell you about this. The trick here, pressure on that wheel. Pressure on that wheel. Look how close I got. Look how close I got. But if I put enough pressure, I don't have to worry that it's going to come out. No pressure. So I get a little daring here. See? And I know no hole. I've become a little bit cocky when it comes to this because I've done it a few times. <laughs> then I get I get a thrill out of having nice ravioli. There we go. Beautiful. And there we go. Ta-da! Okay, now I'm going to finish these and then guess what? We're going to make a, a very, very simple sauce, very simple sauce, and we're going to have ravioli in like, I'm going to say 20 minutes at the most.